Well, everyone's been looking forward to this one. John John Florence up against Luca Messinas and Jacob Wilcox in the fourth heat of the morning. The opening round of competition here at the Margaret River Pro presented by Rusty and John John Florence. Well, you heard Jack Robinson say it. No one's done it. The, the performances here from John over the years are, are seminal. They, they have changed the way that people look at this wave. But there's a few surfers in his class in waves like that. However, on big open faces, John John Florence continues to do beautiful, big, high-performance turns. And, and that's the benchmark. That's where everyone else is trying to get to. Yeah, well, uh, that first wave, he had to really paddle onto it. it. It didn't lift up. It didn't A-frame. And he got caught by a walling section. But uh, Luca Messinas here has got a, a better-looking wave, Ronnie. Yeah, Luca and Jacob Wilcox, they're going to have to pick their rides very carefully. Luca had a birthday just last week, 26 years of age now. It's going to ask a lot of the surfers the, the conditions out there today. They're going to wear some big ones on the head, guaranteed. Here's the replay. Yeah, so this so uh, this section here sort of has to tuck under the lip here on that last section, Ronnie. So it didn't get the won't get the big points. Blew people away and uh, was voted as peers as one of the best edit releases of the year. When it dropped, as we see now, Luca just trying to uh, get a big score on the board. Huge drop, but. Not much of a chance to lay down a big turn after. Kind of had to stay close to Kelly at the end because I knew he was just kind of looking for those ones underneath. So just stayed next to him and took it off him. In their own way are landmines going forward. And uh, well, I'll get back to that in a minute as we see Jacob Wilcox getting wave number two. Yeah, Jacob just trying to hang on for the finish there. Does well. As you can finish off a ride. As we see John John Florence on the outside. And he's going to link over that little double up and through to the inside. Big layback jam. And he'll get the finish that he needs. Well, that's the big go-to for, for John. I, I was going to say of Jacob's ride, you know, you finish off the last turn. That's not where the ride ends. Even if you go to your belly prone, you've still got to get over that rock shelf through to the skis on the inside. The highest seated surfers, as you see, John John will go through this wave again. The first section kind of misses it a little bit, Ronnie to his standard, but you can just see now he's eyeing it off. Is he going to tuck under the lip or is he going to attack it? It's a classic patented layback snap. Draws down the face. No one does it better. And John John matching power for power. It's his signature move. Just the, the read, though. You know, John's really aware of what this wave does at the end, so He's completely blinded, and not too many people have been electing to turn around and paddle back out <coughs> this morning. Definitely not. We saw that even in the free surfing. You, you know, you, you flick out halfway through that. It's a bit like flicking out at, say, 12 foot Hully Eva. And add to that 6.83. Has a, a huge, huge jump on the field at the moment. More than three points in the highest scoring rides between himself and Jacob Wilcox. And this is just smart competitive surfing. Not a big wave, but Florence knows that he can really apply some pressure here. Well, he can do what no one else can do. I mean, well, very few others can do. Uh, and he gets a medium-sized wave. He's got that 6.83. This is just really smart competitive surfing. Uh, eight wins. It's remarkable he hasn't got more, but you've got to remember that this guy has suffered the anguish of numerous injuries that have held him back in world title runs as we go to live action now Wilcox up at the moment can he hang on to the finish here that wave was huge and he's going to get knocked off 15 minutes to go on the outside Florence loading up cuts that bottom turn short to use all that speed in a searing front side carve up into this foamy section and has the control to hang on to the finish he's going to kick out now but that was an impressive opening manoeuvre. This is coming from deep. And, Ronnie, searing is the word. This is a phenomenal manoeuvre. John John Florence in full flight. And no one holds the rail longer or harder and with more power. And then he comes out of it, the transition so clean. Even this section, look how much white water's on the face. And he puts his board above the lip line. And just makes it look so easy. And, and this wave here, you know what? He doesn't even bother with the finish. He flicks out. You know, he has put 
major work in to get back to a point where he can surf at that level and push that hard on the rail, especially in waves this size. So you know, you're looking at one of the most, I think, mentally resilient and uh, committed surfers that we have on the CT as Jacob Wilcox looks to, uh, again, just to add to his tally. He's back in third position at the moment, looking for a 2.33. Going to get it out of that ride, you wouldn't think, as Florence up again. He's starting to, to push close to that, that heat score average that we expect here. And he is just so comfortable in these big open ocean waves and in these lumpier conditions just seems to just iron out all the bumps out there. And this is an interesting ride, Ronnie. This second turn here, there's a lot happening with this wave. That, that, that massive sidewinding, uh, like it was like a wave coming across. Six and a half minutes to go now. And the pressure on Luca because Jacob Wilcox just managed to scratch in the second spot with that last ride. It was a 2.37. Oh, Messina's huge opening manoeuvre. Nice cut down there. This is a, a clean combination. Can he finish this wave off? Doesn't have that end section to hit, but still did well as the wave was tapering away to get a third manoeuvre in. Oh, well and truly uh, Luca's best effort yet. He got, he did get three in, but he didn't get the finishing uh, big closeout move in, but he got a, a couple of great snaps in. His timing was good on this. Uh, watching on back home, extremely proud. This is easily going to get him back up in the second spot. It sure is, and he really waited for this way to use his priority well. That first snap is unbelievable. He buries his board for momentarily. Love that second move, and even though he didn't get the finishing move, I like that third manoeuvre. Been some amazing individual rookie performances over the years from competitors, but this class is collectively very headstrong. Luca, one of them, as John Florence looks to get rid of that 6.83. It's going to give up on this ride, but again, just big open face calves. I mean, talk about comfort zone. John John is paddling back out. And here's Jacob Wilcox. Big section standing up here. Jacob swings that bigger board up through the pocket of the wave. And he's going to be after a score out of that one. And we'll see if it'll be enough. But Luca Messines is about to drop his best ride and get himself up into that second position. It's a 5.6. One judge had him a 6-2 and a, another a 5-8. That's a pretty solid turn. Really solid. Oh, we mentioned a uh, similar position to, to Zeke Lau, who won through in that previous heat. Needs to get to the fourth round just to add to his points tally. And stave off the, the charge from those surfers outside the cut line at the moment. Well, Jacob Wilcox having another uh, fishing expedition on that one. He didn't need a big score. He just needs a, a 4.17. Well, uh, Luca really had to, to get himself into this ride. It's a tricky way to surf, but the big objective there was to, to keep Jacob Wilcox at bay and keep him off that ride and take away his opportunity to turn this heat. But the, uh, the heat is over. It's a, a wrap. Luca Messinas holding on to that second spot. Wilcox will have to fight his way through the elimination round. Another big name in that scary round. John Florence, though, too strong for his rivals out there this morning.